My name is Nicola Normanno. I am the director of the Cell Biology and Biotherapy Unit at the Pascal Institute, and I'm also director of the Translational Research Department. We do clinical research in different tumor types, including ovarian cancer. We had the possibility to access the TSO5 and the HRD, and we got very interesting results, uh, at least in this first phase of our study. We found a very good agreement between uh, the TSO5 and uh, the standard of care, the gold standard, by assessing a number of cases, tumor samples derived from ovarian cancer patients. Actually, we found a, a sensitivity over 96% and the specificity close to 95% for the assay. On the samples that we tested, the success rate was uh, uh, over 95%, which seems higher as compared to the standard of care. On the other hand, the, what we found also is that with the TSO 500, the workflow was quite uh, simple to implement in our uh, department, and I would say that we use also TSO 500 for other research projects, so this was somehow easier for us to use this kind of assay. Well, the approach to HRD testing can be performed by using different strategies. I mean, there are some labs that are using tests that allow only to assess the HRD status without providing any information on BRCA sequence, which uh, I think it may be a good approach, but uh, this leads to the need also to test for BRCA. And I think that, you know, in, in clinical research, you don't want really to wait for two different tests to have all the information that you need to treat your patients. On the other hand, there are other tests that use different strategy, both derive the HRD information as well as they provide information on BRCA sequence. And these are a pretty good solution because at the least you will have both information on BRCA and also HRD at the same time. And then the third option is to use comprehensive genome profiling panels that really would provide you a lot of information you will get information on the HRD status, on BRCA mutations, on the uh, sequencing also of uh, other HR-related genes, and also additional information on actual mutation, on TMB, and so on. It would be much easier and convenient to use a comprehensive genomic profiling panel because you can really uh, put together different type of samples in the same line of production and this will reduce the cost and also reduce also the timing. The other point that's very important to consider is also which type of data you use for HRD uh, estimation. I mean there are uh, different approaches there are some panels that are based only on LOH, others that are using all the other parameters. I mean, the good thing is that the S2500 uh, HRD assay is using LOH, a TST, and also all the other SNPs that uh, have been used in the standard of care uh, uh, panel. And of course, this is somehow uh, the ensuring you know, us in using this panel for our clinical research. We do expect to have results that are highly comparable to the standard of care and indeed in this uh, preliminary assessment that we perform of the HRT test, uh, this seems really to be confirmed. Mm -hmm.